Hello. Um, so I got it. That's my girlfriend. Every if I had like a collection of all the videos she fucked up, I would have like a 25 minute long video of just intros. Keep in mind. Right, babe? Right. Right. There we go. All right. So this is uh from a request. I can't remember who did it. <laughs> Um, it may have been like Tennessee EDC or somebody on Instagram. I feel like they're actually kind of up there in subs. I feel like they have like 2,000 or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know his name. I'll, I'll link him in the description. But uh, he had a request for two knives that I own that are very, very similar. Um, now... <sighs> I hate that I don't own too many, like, standard production. So, like, Satin S30V and G10 and FRM knives. Because, really, it's not a great comparison I'm about to do. I mean, I've handled both. Like, I owned an S30V version of this for about five, six years when it first came out. And uh, I've handled the FRN Stretch 1, but never a Stretch 2 in FRN. This, of course, being G10 steel lined uh, with ZDP. Now, uh, these knives are quite similar. Uh, really, the only distinguishing feature that, you know, they have from each other is lock, thickness, and blade shape. Um, other than that, I mean, if you made this a compression lock with, you know, this blade shape, you probably wouldn't notice, and they are actually just about the same size so they have almost identical cutting edge um this is 3.44 inches this is 3.5 now if you look at the handles uh what's the best way to do this let me do it like this this one is a little bit more filling on the stretch overall i find this knife to be much more comfortable um this is something that like a lot of people um, kind of forget about, but like when I'm really bearing down, this hurts <laughs> and uh, I get a pretty bad hot spot from the clip. I mean, in a hammer grip, something like that choked up. It's a lot better. That clip kind of moves like to the center of your hand, at least for me. And, uh, you're left with a grip. That's uh, a little bit, a little bit nicer, I guess. Um, I don't even know if I would call it nicer. It's just like if if you're slicing with this grip, you're fine. It's when you do a hammer grip, you kind of grip up versus gripping like that. So if you're like, you know, taking chunks off of a uh, a log or something, um, I think you'll find some discomfort with the pair of two. Um, in the FRN version, I've owned, you know, some Delicas. I own a lot of Spyderco backlocks. I think they're great designs once my camera focuses. Please, there we go. Uh, you can see this is a Salt. I've owned this probably for about seven, eight years, I want to say. Uh, backlocks from Spyderco, I, I consider them to be a plus uh, in any of their designs. Um... This one's very smooth, very fast. Uh, I think it's more comfortable in most grips. And uh, this version carries a little bit better than this. Um, it weighs a little bit more, but it's flatter. Um, so, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. Uh, spine length is kind of maintained a little bit better. Uh, blade is thinner on this, of course. But... Um, you know, the stock thickness is maintained pretty much up until the tip. It is somewhat of a distal taper. Uh, I wouldn't entirely call it that, but it's about the closest thing I can think of. Um, how does this knife perform? Well, honestly, I don't carry this stretch a lot. I sold off most of my knives, and um, it's been in the pocket a lot. I love ZDP. Um, I, ooh, jeez. I have two knives in ZDP. This guy that I have a ton more use on. I mean, this is 
one of my favorite knives of all time, 0350. Um, yeah, ZDP is a steel that people kind of uh, make out to be a chippy, impossible to sharpen steel. I don't find that to be quite the case. Um, maybe it's me. Um, but, I mean, use the right knife for the right job. Use the right stone for the right job. You know what I'm getting at? Um, so, like, don't be approaching a ZDP edge, you know, thinking you're going to reprofile it with a sharp maker. Um, you're not, unless you get diamond stones, and even then, you know, you're going to wear those stones out relatively quickly. So, um, yeah, so... It's hard to place one of these above the other. I think most people are going to like this more. Um, <laughs> what I found with knives it's, is it's not really about which one's the better knife. It's about which one, you know, is... <sighs> How do I even explain this? Which one is, like, the most fun to play with, the coolest, um, the most variety... Uh, so like the PM2, like there's LMAX, M390, uh, S30V, S35, M4, 20CV, S90V, like whatever you want, you can get this. You have green and blue handles or green and black. I think VG10 or ZDP, um, for a standard production run. Uh, I don't know if this knife was classified as a sprint run. I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, it reminds me of uh, that green Endura they did with the, you know, the full liners and the G10. All in all, this knife is becoming one of my favorites. Um, if I'm actually going to go out and use a knife. Uh, with my new job, you know, I'm not really breaking down boxes. It's more office work, stuff like that. Um... So, but I, I don't know. I have a cool workplace, so I can really carry whatever I want. Um, like, usually I still carry the military uh, nine, nine times out of ten, um, and nobody seems to care. Um, right, so which knife is smoother? It's got to go to the PM2. Um, this doesn't stand a fighting chance. Oof. These steels, whenever they make contact with something, like, they feel different um, than, you know, a typical S30V. Like, they, they sound different. Like, a really hard steel, to me, has, like, a high pitch ring to it. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. I just, I don't know. And this has it, too, because that's M4. So that's pretty hard. Um, so which one would I pick for day to day? Um, for day to day, I gotta go with this. I mean, between the two, obviously I'd pick a military over this because I love the military. I love the blade shape. I love how it stances you, you know, so that, that, you know, the belly is doing all the cutting, not so much the tip. Um, this, you can say the same thing about it, maybe even a little bit more so. It's just, you know, they're, they're closer than you might think um, in terms of which one I would pick. Uh, these days, I mean, I just got this. I got this two weeks ago. It's an M4 and carbon fiber knife. I mean, it's pretty fucking cool. Now this, this is finding its way into my pocket more often than... Um, than this for actual use um it's just i've had it for longer i don't really care if it gets beat up i feel like i could probably find another one um but then on the other hand i don't really care if the m4 gets beat up because steve beat this thing through a uh, piece of steel or maybe aluminum um yeah so they both have the same kind of um design elements to them which i think is probably the reason I would not predict that either one of these ever get discontinued by Spyderco. Um, I mean, 
They're almost the same knife, just one has a back lock. 50-50 um, choil. People seem to love that. I could take it or leave it. These days, um, I'm like, I'm leaning. I used to be very anti-choil. I liked my, uh, my full edge. These days, I don't really mind a choil. Um, this knife, I can tell you, cuts very well through wood. Um, here's a pencil. Like, obviously, that's not a great example, but it just seems to bite, you know, right through. Um, not that the PM2 is like any slouch at all. You know, it's just, I don't know. They're both more than adequate for whatever most people are going to use them for. It's, um, they're just tailored for different things. Like, between the two, I couldn't tell you which one's stronger. I really couldn't. I, I don't care to find out either, unless somebody wants to send me one. Um, and then I can, you know, torture test it. But, um, ugh, it's so hard to pick between these two. I think I'm going to go with the PM2. Just because, you know, it, it's it's more of an all-arounder. And if I'm putting a three and a half inch blade in my pocket, I'm assuming I don't have a big knife and a little knife. So I, I kind of want the best of both worlds. I love that military blade. Uh, this is kind of just a shortened version. It is a little bit different than the military. Um, but I, th I think it's similar enough that this overall takes it. Um, in terms of like comfort, the liners on this are actually a little bit sharp. I forgot to mention that in ergonomics. Um, but same can be said for this knife. It's just, they're sharp up here for me. Um, do I got graphite on me? Nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little comparison video. If you want, I can make another I just got off work and I'm fucking exhausted. And uh, my girlfriend, Kaylin. Yeah? That's her. Um, is wrapping presents right now. And I have to go finish that up. So I hope you guys have a great holiday. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.